Hello and welcome to All Top Fives. Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a holiday celebrated all around Mexico every 31st of October and lasts for three days. It's a festival rich in culture and history and manifests in very bright visual ways. Number 5. Origins Celebrated mainly in Mexico, the Day of the Dead has roots stretching back as far as perhaps 3,000 years. It's thought that the Olmecs held a festival for an entire month, which fell on the nine month in the Aztec calendar. These celebrations were for a goddess known as Lady of the Dead. The Aztecs after them worshipped Mixteca Cihuatl, the queen of the underworld who presided over the festivals celebrating the dead. These images can both be seen in the modern day La Calavera Catrina, an important image in the Day of the Dead celebrations these days. These practices continued, and as the country entered the 20th century and Spanish influences came in, most regions of Mexico had a very similar way of honouring their dead. Although it had been narrowed down to three days rather than the full month. Northern parts of Mexico, however, did not celebrate the festivities, as Catholic Christianity forbade anything that resembled pagan elements. Instead, All Saints Day was observed along with Christians around the world, Late in the 21st century, however, the Mexican government declared Dia de Muertos a national holiday, incorporating indigenous cultures and traditions. Still, the three-day format echoes the hallowtide trio of All Saints' Eve, All Saints' Day and All Souls' Day. Number 4. Significance as mentioned in the origins, it's thought that Dia de Muertos came in part from the worship of Mixteca Cihuatl, which literally means Lady of the Dead. Although the old Mesoamerican traditions faded and were stamped on quite heavily by Catholicism, the significance of this celebration still shines through. Humans across the world honour their dead in different ways, be it for an individual at a funeral, visiting a loved one's grave, two minutes silence for casualties of war, or a more general cultural remembrance for the dead, such as All Souls Day, still celebrated in Eastern European countries today. Dia de Muertos, however, in its themes and symbolism, features death in all its guises. Skulls and skeletons are commonplace, colours are bright and vivid, and the tone is positive, sometimes even humorous. It is a time to pray and remember friends and family who have passed away, not to grieve but to remember them at their best, with the hope that the deceased soul will hear these prayers and celebrations made just for them. Number 3. Celebrations The Day of the Dead is a loud and vibrant celebration, and although it varies from region to region and family to family, there are some main themes. It begins with the Day of the Innocent, when people make a colourful altar for the spirits of children, the Angelitos, adorned with toys and traditional paper decorations. The Day of the Dead proper begins with adult spirits coming to visit the living, and people across Mexico visit cemeteries to be with the graves of their loved ones. They will tidy and decorate the graves, sometimes bringing bottles of local and traditional alcoholic drinks, and offering up the person's favourite foods. In some areas, the family will remain by the graveside throughout the night, and many families take picnics too. If not visiting a grave, some will create altars at home for deceased adult family members or friends instead, again decorating it with marigolds, sugar confectionery called alfenique, and patterned coloured papers crafted into decorations. These altars are called ofrendas, and many are also incorporated into existing shrines featuring the Christian cross, the Virgin Mary, candles and photographs of the deceased. In some places, people take to the streets, wearing brightly coloured costumes lined with shells to create a loud noise. There's often dancing, wearing skull masks and the recitation of old anecdotes and funny stories, celebrating the dead person's best moments in life. In other places, people celebrate with foods, eating sugar or chocolate skulls. Pan de muerto, which is a sweet bread made with egg, often formed into skull shapes and frosted to resemble bones. In one town, people light candles at midnight on the 2nd of November, and all ride to a cemetery on an island in the middle of the lake, on boats with wings, named after butterflies. 
There, they honor the lives of the dead in that cemetery. Finally, in another region, those families who have lost someone that year will open their doors to visitors in exchange for small candles. These visitors will receive, for example, tamales, a kind of steamed dough savory, and atole, an often sweet drink in return for their respects paid. Elaborate altars are on view for the visitors too, and everyone celebrates the departed in a true communal fashion. Number 2. Outside Mexico Although the Christian-based All Saints Day and its siblings are celebrated worldwide at the same time as Dia de Muertos, there are many places that hold festivities similar to it or indeed inspired directly by it, even further afield than other South American countries. In the USA, traditional Day of the Dead celebrations are held, often in large parades and festivals. In Texas, New Mexico and Arizona, there are very traditional celebrations due to the large Mexican communities in some places. But in Missoula, Montana, people combine the visual aspects of Day of the Dead with the spectacle of the circus, featuring stilt walkers and bicycle riders all in skeleton costumes and bright colors, parading through the town. In California, some enormous events are held, such as the Noche de Altares, where Day of the Dead traditions merge with American culture, featuring large parades, calaveras makeup, flamboyant costumes, and music and dance. In Australian, Fijian, and Indonesian major cities, as well as Wellington in New Zealand, a very Mexican-style Day of the Dead festival is celebrated annually, including flowers, gifts, and altars. Interestingly, in the Philippines, where the people have honored their ancestors since ancient times, Day of the Dead traditions have sprung up. Filipinos visit family members' graves on the 1st of November, clean and repair them, then spend one or two nights eating, drinking, singing songs and dancing, offering up prayers and presenting the dead with flowers, candles, food and drink. It's thought by some that the practice was imported when the Spanish ordered the islands of the Philippines be governed by Mexico. It's amazing how far this festival has spread. Number 1. Beliefs So behind all the colour and the good humour is serious belief. It's a belief that the souls of the departed are still around on some plane, needing waking up and reminding of what good they had in life. This is the reason for the loud costumes, the music and the prayers and anecdotes. It's all meant to be picked up by the spirits. The food, the decorations and the candles are designed to entice the spirit back too, to spend that short amount of time with their loved ones who remain on earth. The favourite foods of the departed and the traditional Mexican marigold flowers are for exactly that reason, to help them return home. Some believe that the food and drink's spiritual essence is actually consumed by the loved one, so it's important to include, not just as a symbol. Those celebrating will eat the foods afterwards, but believe that its nutritional value is gone as the spirit has taken for themselves its essence. There are those who include blankets and pillows by their altars or graves as well, so that in the same way, the spirit who has travelled a long way to be with their family once more can have comfort and a place to rest during the night. Even outside of the festivities themselves, Dia de Muertos still persists. Many Mexicans believe it's good luck to possess Day of the Dead items or symbols. There are those who have tattoos of skulls or other similar images, and others who carry small dolls of the dead on their person at all times. Some even clean their houses and prepare the departed's favourite meals throughout the year as a constant celebration and honouring of the dead. Dia de Muertos is a deeply traditional and respectful celebration that focuses on the bright side of death and those who have been lost. And that's it from all top fives for this week. Please remember to be civil and respectful when posting comments. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for notifications of all my new videos, or you can click the Patreon button to support all top fives work on Patreon. So peace and love to each and every one of you, and I'll see you all next time on All Top Fives.